All right. <clears throat> shalom, shalom to the elect. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, and the water Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days which the world cannot receive. And he's always giving double honors to our apostles. There was a great millstone where I learned his truth from, Bakatham. Peace, love, and salutations to the Zakwani, while Akim, those in the brothers standing stiffly. All right, for the names of Yahweh, where Yahweh Shai, truth, and in sincerity, shalom to the predestined elect. All right, so I'm that fellow Sarah Kwan from Jim S. Tempe, Twitter, Camp out here, Tampa, Florida, the heart of Babylon, the belly of the beast. All right, come back to another lesson, praying these lessons, edifying and exhorting and comforting. All right, ultimately comforting to the elect. All right, scattered about the four corners of the earth, where you may uh, look like uh, the other nations or not, man. Okay, uh, scattered abroad that believe wholeheartedly in Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's holy, true, powerful name, which the world ignorantly refers to as uh, uh, God. And Yahweh is, is his holy, uh, only begotten son. Holy two powerful name, which we're all ignorant calls uh, and refers to as Jesus Christ, so-called Negro, so-called black man. This this is all recorded in the scriptures. And uh, ultimately, the reason why I'm doing this lesson is because um, I was watching Elder Pascal Bar videos, you know, just catching up on uh, his uh, latest videos back to back and pretty much going into, um, you know, vision. All right. And this is why a lot of Jake's. All right. They uh, don't have the faith. They lose the faith because they, their imagination is a. Uh, uh, they, they, they start to decrease in imagination And one thing about having that imagination Is uh, uh, the word image and, and it's what do you and, You know what do you see Okay and we can actually see Alright these things that are actually Getting ready to take place before they take place And that's why people call us loony bug outs Okay crazy or Weird weirdos Lunatics whatever you want to, Whatever you want to put a name on it guess what They, 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 they call you how aside these same names man all right, they talked bad about Yahweh Shai in the Lashon Kadash in his time, man. In the Hebrew, they was talking down on our Lord. So, how much more in 2021? Okay, you finding out the truth, we find out the truth, and it's so fresh, it's so beautiful to us, you know? So, leads me to say, all we have to do is just believe. Just believe in Yahweh Shai, okay? Okay? Matter of fact, it's a precept. Let me get this real quick and loop. It just crossed my mind. You know, we don't got to worry about everybody, man. The scriptures even uh, speak about that. The scriptures say, the, let the multitude perish that were born in vain. So don't worry about the majority of these people, man. If the Lord have dialed in on, you, on your spirit and unlocked the code in you, in your, in your brain, in your mind, ultimately the spirit to receive this truth in his name, and his only begotten son name, don't worry about everybody else, man. You know, seek out, excuse me, seek out such as be like thee. You know, so don't worry about everybody. Just believe, man. Believe you how Bashi Mashiach got us. You know, this is Luke chapter 10. And um, I'm going to start it. So Luke chapter 18, verse, uh, I'll start verse 6. It says, and the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry, Day and night unto him. So hold on, let's let's take a step back real quick because it says, "And shall not the Most High avenge His own elect?" So the Lord is not coming back to avenge everybody. You want you you know if you read the scripture, you would want to know who is the elect and what does the word elect mean? See, the word elect is from the Greek word eklektos, which means chosen. So who is the Lord's chosen? Okay, because all throughout the scriptures, even in the Old Testament, okay, uh, 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 uh in the book of Isaiah that's coming on my mind right now. Even in the book of Psalms, 44 and 1, all right, 144, okay, it speaks about mine elect, my chosen, okay? So even in the Apocrypha, man, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, uh, the, uh, the fifth chapter, okay? So you, you will want to know who is the elect, because read this again, it says, and, and the, it says, and shall the, not the most high avenge his own elect. So it's all about the elect. That's why in Matthew's 24th chapter, it says what? And he shall redeem. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. You know, because hey, the spirit have it to where it's, it's going towards the elect. Because it's all about the elect. This truth is all about the elect, man. For real. You know, this truth is all about the elect of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Whoever he's elected, man. And, and that's a heavy thing, man, because just like how you have this presidency or whatever, okay, or somebody getting called up to a, a, a specific a spot or, or, or order or, a, you know, job, or if you will, or, okay, overseers, supervisors, whatever, they're, they're, they have been elected to that job, 
So how much more the, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, okay, the power of all spirits, the Father spirits, okay, the Ancient of Days, okay, the God of all flesh. These are all titles, some of the titles, some of the titles that are actually written in the scriptures. How much more him electing us, electing us to stand into a, a spot to be rulers over the whole world. And not just the world, but the universe, man. Under his his son, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's a heavy calling, man. That's a highly calling. That's a holy calling, man. Okay? That's why I could say many are called, but few are chosen. Once again, chosen being the elect. Matthew 24, verse 31. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of the trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds. From one end of heaven to the other. See, so the Lord is coming back to what? Gather the elect. Man, it's all about the elect. St. Luke 18, verse 7. And shall not the Most High vent his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? Why are we crying? Why are we crying day and night? Because what? The scripture uh, speaks about being uh, uh, in the solemn assembly, man. Okay? Why are we in a solemn assembly? What's the word solemn ultimately meaning uh, serious? Because we understand the condition of our people. Here it is, we are Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Say you are a very special people, peculiar. But you don't see that you don't see that uh, uh, being expressed out here on the planet Earth. Why? Because our people are destroyed, man. For what? For lack of knowledge, man. But here it is, the Lord Yahweh Basham Shai has revealed this truth unto us. Okay, a, a, a very small remnant, a little sanctuary. Again, once again, okay, the elect. All right, and that's why we we are able to uh, 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 adapt to uh, the faith, man. All right, which was already inside of us, man. That's why we're educated, okay, on Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Okay, which is what ultimately drawing out of us. That's why we conduct ourselves different from you people out here, man. And that's why the message that we're putting out here on YouTube before ultimately it be destroyed, okay, is that look, just have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Because what's getting ready to come down the pipe, you're not going to have your nine ain't, your nine ain't going to save you, bro. You know, I'm just getting right to the point. Your AK is not, your chopper is not finna save you, bro. Okay? What Jake, like, Draco, Draco, Draco is not saving you, bro. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. You might get a few rounds off on the Draco, but ultimately, it's not finna save you from the destruction that's coming. A Draco against a, versus a missile? Nah, bro. It's, 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 it's incompatible. That's like, that's like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's, it's incompatible, man. You know, so many, you know, ways we can put that, man. You know, prophecy must be fulfilled. John chapter 16, verse 13. How be it when the spirit of slot, let me finish this real quick. And St. Luke chapter 18, verse 7. And shall not the most high avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? Yeah, the elect crying day and night, man. We crying day and night for the Heavenly Father to come in and judge this wicked place. We actually are witnessing the wickedness that's actually being played out, okay? Portrayed out here, man. That's why we're we're heated in the spirit. We can't wait for the day of vengeance, man. You know? We can't wait for the Lord to come back and destroy this place, man. You know? We can actually see it, man. I can see the Lord coming back. Millions of angels, man. Before that, all hell breaking loose. You people bugging out. Cannibalism. Nope. Famine of the word. Okay, famine ultimately, food shortage is already on the rise. It's not far fetched. The things that you can see, uh, 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 outwardly, okay. How much more internally, man? How much more internal, man? See, we have inter we have internal vision, man. We're able to see the things that are, are not seen yet, but when they happen, you gonna know a, a prophet was among you, man. St. Luke chapter 18, verse 7. And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Right? That word speedily. Okay? Godspeed, man. The Lord coming back. Godspeed, man. See? Quickness. Swiftness, man. See? All right? To, to, to who? Redeem his elect, man. All right? The redemption of our souls, man. Okay, because if it was up to the uh, uh, to Yahweh Basham Shai, ultimately, ultimately he would just destroy everybody, man. But what Malachi three and six says, what the Lord does not change. 
So therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the only reason why we're not consumed is because what the scripture say, in my wrath have I smote thee, but in my favor I have mercy on you, man. That mercy is giving us his right hand. His right hand is who? Yahweh Shai, man. For pleasures evermore. Okay? This is the story of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. And whom his chosen is. It says, nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? See? So the Lord is going to look for faith on earth, man. It says, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? And this is what Yahweh Shai is saying, man. The ultimate vision of visionary, man. You see? Who was locked in in the vision, man. You see? That's what he said, okay? Who fulfill, who who was who is the will of the heavenly Father, man? So how much more his men? You see. So from there, let's go to John sixteen verse thirteen. Saint John sixteen thirteen. How be it when he the Spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. And what is that Spirit? That Spirit is what is comfort, man. The Holy Spirit, Ba Shemar Kapodash. Okay. The understanding of the scriptures, man. Which everybody don't have, man. Okay? That's why we're able to go from precept to precept. That's why we're able to go and, and dial in. Okay? And uh, uh, go go from uh, 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 speaking, all right, on uh, uh, the RFID tips, the mark of the beast. Okay? All right? Until linking it up to uh, the day of uh, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? Or the time of uh, uh, Michael the angel, Michael the archangel, cracking the sky. Okay, all right. With uh, Yahweh Shai leading charge, came Daniel's twelfth chapter, which also was re reiterated in, uh, in uh, Ezra's thirteenth chapter. That's why we're able to link these things up because it's the spirit of truth. Look through your people and tell you got demons on you, man. You got a spirit of rebellious on you. Why are we able to do that? Because it's the spirit of Yahweh Shai. It's the spirit of truth. And he's guiding us through all things. That's his wisdom. Okay. Verse 14. It says. He shall glorify me. For he shall receive of mine. And shall show it unto you. See. Prophecy. The spirit, Revelations 19 and 10. The testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And what? This is the spirit of truth. Which the world cannot receive. Verse 15. All things that the father have are mine. Therefore said I that I that slot. Therefore said I that he shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. See, and what do what what is uh, the truth showing us? Truth, man. What's actually taking place upon the planet Earth in this reasonable time, a season? Because the scripture saying Ecclesiastes, there's a season, there's a time for everything, man. And this is that time where the Lord Yahweh is judging the planet Earth on a on a magnificent. Magnificent scale, man. This is a time where you will want to be right with the Heavenly Father to the best of your ability, man. Putting off the weak nature, man. And clothing yourself with the, uh, uh, the armor of light. Okay? I'm going to jump down. This is what I really want here in verse 20. Where you have what I said. St. John, and I'll close out on this. St. John 16, verse 20. Verily, verily, I say unto you that ye shall weep and lament. But the world shall rejoice. And that's what's happening right now. We're weeping and we're lamenting. But what? In the book of, Lema in the book of Lamentations. Okay. It says what? The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished. O daughter of Zion, man. He will no more lead thee into captivity, man. But he what? He will uh, visit uh, uh, the daughter of Edom, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. And the cup shall run through her. Okay. Or pass through her. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. All right. So these other nations starting off with the so-called white man Esau Edom is going to have to drink of this cup. You're going to have to feel what it is to be a, a cast out outcast. Okay. You're going to have to feel what it is to be a a a, 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 a nigga. Chiefly, man, you're going to have to feel what it is to be called a nigga. All right. That's why the scripture say, "Is this the man?" Okay? So ultimately, you, you devils is through. Okay? Because we have the comforter, man. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice. 
and ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. That's it. So our sorrow is going to be turned into joy, brothers. We ain't got nothing to worry about, man. Because once all these prophecies start ultimately snapping, okay, knocking at the door, already knocking at the door, but once they start coming in your house, <laughs> so to say, okay, then you people going to know that a prophet was among you, man. We weren't just out here playing games. We're not playing games, bro. This truth is not a game. This truth is real life. But you're going to find all that out in Jacob's trouble, man, if you're not taking the Lord serious, man. So all we got to do is be in the elect. Well, we'll just believe because our sorrow is going to get ready to be turned into joy, man. The Lord getting ready to work for us in our favor. This is the second exodus. And the Lord said this exodus is going to be greater than the first exodus, man. So let's stay up in the faith. Kahalaya, by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kadash. Double honors to our apostles, others great millstone. They taught me this truth. Rock a thumb. Peace, love, and salutations to the Zakarni Wa Akin, song to the elect.